Because they're only thinking a few body parts, they're thinking about sexuality. The English word occult doesn't clearly specify what is it that they're calling as occult. Recently, someone asked me a question in the Samyama, I think. It seems some guru, he said, uh, Tantra is just a way of uh, uh, getting over what? Obsessions, just getting over obsessions. This is nonsense. We need to, uh, unfortunately, today, redefine the word tantra because it's been distorted by people. First, let's understand this. The word tantra means a technique or a technology. But because the tantra that you are hearing of is a rebound from the American coast, you think tantra means unbridled promiscuity. No, tantra means extreme discipline. It's not <laughs> unbridled promiscuity, it's extreme discipline. Learning to use your body and your mind like you would use some other outside instrument. Like how you would use your computer or a screwdriver. Like that, you learn to use your body and your mind. It takes enormous discipline not promiscuity, not looseness. Tantra is not things, the books they have written largely by Western authors, all kinds of things, no. Tantric texts are of extreme discipline, not of any kind of looseness. Because they're talking about the body, and right now the modern societies, if you say body, they're fixated about repro reproductive organs in the body and nothing else about the body. So if you say body, they're only thinking of a few body parts, they forgot the brain. <laughs> because they're only thinking a few body parts, they're thinking about sexuality and nothing beyond that. It is about learning to use the body like a phenomenal mechanism, and it is. If you do not know how to use it, what will you do here? If you do not know how to use your physical self and the energy behind it, what will you do? You will have no impact on anything. So this is tantra. Tantra means technology, tantra means a certain capability. There is no guru without a tantra. If he has no technology, he is not a guru. He can only be a gentle saint who will bless everybody, bless everybody, bless everybody. A blessing has no discretion. 